Hey there, everyone. I hope you're rocking today. I'm about to tell you something that's going to hurt if you are currently unemployed in GIS. No one cares about your skills. No one cares how keen you are, and no one cares how willing to learn the new skills you are. They care about whether you can solve their problems and whether you can solve their problems right now. No matter how you look at it, you need the skills, which is what I'm going to talk about in this video. Before I get going, if you have any questions or any concerns or anything that you want me to talk about, just leave them down below. Let's get rocking. Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris, professional GSI. Being unemployed sucks. You got the skills or you think you got the skills, but no one is giving you a chance. There is a harsh truth that you have to accept. People don't care about you. They care if you can fix their problems. Before I go any further, I'd like to remind you to sign up to my newsletter at geographicinformationsuccess.com where I give you weekly updates and insights into GIS mindsets. I also have a Teespring store where you can get yourself some GIS and geoscience shirts that goes to support my channel. Now, back to the video. Again, people don't care about you. They care if you can fix their problems. Here's an example. Well, it's an extreme example, but you will see what I am saying. Oh. Oh my God, what happened to you? Ah, uh, fell off my bike. Are you a doctor? This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. Man, are you a doctor? I'm keen, well-dressed, and I'm willing to learn. Ah, are you a doctor? I always wanted to. Hey, 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 wh what are you doing? Well, I can learn on the job, and I'm very quick. Ah, for the love of... Are you a doctor? I do know how to type. I do love the outdoors. I do lift heavy. And I paint Warhammer miniatures. Warhammer? Warhammer. 40k? 40k. Tight! Tight! But are you a doctor? Uh, no. Then f This is the way of the world, especially if you're looking to be hired. You have the skills to fix the problem, or you don't. Now, of course, there are exceptions, which are rare, but it will always come down if you have the skills or not. So, step one is always, always, always going to be build the skills. For the rest of the video, I'm going to talk about the four skill building stages you have to go through in GIS. Number one, formal or on the job skill building. This is where I advocate for a college or university education to get your GIS training. I do think online courses are great, but something magical happens when you get in-person training from a master. The transfer of knowledge is something primordial in our brains that makes information stick way better than it does online. This type of learning is a responsive learning. They want X, you give X. They want Y, you give Y. At this point, you learn the fundamentals, you learn the concepts, such as what is a datum? What is a projection? You learn the tools, you learn spatial understandings. There are probably about a thousand things that you need to learn, and I'll probably have a list of them one day, just not today. At this point, it's also a great time to engineer your success. You do that by start researching what GIS skills are needed in the future and in what industries. You purposely focus those skills on those industries, and it'll make you 10 to 100 times more hireable when you are finished your education. Again, this responsive learning is essential for GIS success. Number two. Fail, win, fail, win, or the path of iteration. This type of learning comes from failure and recovery, which is where we learn the most. This is an iterative process, which you go from step one, to step two, to step three. This means incremental improvements over time. This stage could take months to years to perfect, but you get incrementally better over incremental amounts of time to have incremental amounts of success. Number three. Teach what you know. I harp on this one a lot because I think teaching is great. Because something magical happens in our mind when we teach concepts that we know or think we know. Some sort of responsibility switch gets turned on and we think, 
we better know what the heck we're talking about before we tell someone else. Because if we don't show it to them properly, then we may look kind of stupid. Teaching focuses your mind. It helps you understand the concepts way better. It also helps with networking with other people, and it will also make you the go-to person for answers. Teach for GIS success. Number four, build. This is where you purposely advance what you do without permission. You've built the skills, you've got the understanding to the point where creativity takes over. You no longer have to ask for permission because you know what works and what doesn't. The building process is the pinnacle of learning within GIS. You now synthesize your skills to create something new and innovative. Build for your GIS success. Those are my thoughts on building skills in GIS to get hired. No matter how you look at it, they want skills from you and it's best to start early on in your education. With a bit of planning, you can engineer your success and ensure you have the skills they want. Yes, it takes time, but it's well worth the effort. I'd like to remind you to sign up for my newsletter at geographicinformationsuccess.com where I give you valuable GIS and geoscience career information. I'm also writing a few ebooks that should be out soonish. Also, I have a Teespring store where you can purchase some GIS and geoscience shirts. The money goes to support my channel. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.